Just making a video here to show the details of the uh, air compressor cylinder head. Thought I made a video of this before, but I guess not. Anyway, uh, the way the exhaust works here is this fitting threads into the the one on the head, and uh, across the threads on this one is uh, about one and seven eighths inch. So I don't know what uh, size pipe that is. I can check into it, but. And then it encloses the uh, exhaust disc valve. Move it around there, so you can see there's there's clearance there. You don't want the the disc valves tight. It's moving somewhere between a sixteenth and an eighth inch uh, side to side. And when you weld um, this fitting to the head, as you can see, it gets it gets close to some of the uh, head bolts, two of them, top and bottom. So uh, I've used a, an Allen head bolt there, uh, just due to clearance considerations. And then the, the intake ends up fairly close to the welded area also, the, the intake hole. I'd say that's about three quarter inch hole from looking at it. And you can see the three bolts here, machine screws, they're holding the intake, intake disc valve in place. And again, I'll move it around here. See, it's it's got clearance also. I'd say it opens up about a sixteenth inch, something like that. But I'm sure less would work. And then you can see the the exhaust hole. It's just barely within the the cylinder um, wall there to try to uh, gain as much distance between the intake and uh, exhaust disc valves as possible. It's kind of a tight fit but and I'll just take a quick look here I have to set the camera down measure that intake disc valve there it is the disc valves are about inch and a quarter outside and again they're held in place by three machine screws with the, the threads filed off now this particular head is made out of 3 8 inch thick steel I uh, think it could be done with a quarter inch. The way he, he inset the exhaust valve there, if you can see it, there's a taper. Uh, so you wouldn't have to make it quite this elaborate. Uh, a friend of mine made it. He's a really good machinist. So he you know, had access to equipment that I certainly don't have. So uh, a person could simplify it a bit and uh, still have it work. This particular one, it puts out 125 PSI so uh, it worked uh, really well. I've ran it at least 10 hours, uh, probably longer doing sandblasting and things. You know, I haven't kept track of the time, but anyways, just wanted to show you. Oh, the other thing, I put a, a connector on there so that I could take the piping off and uh, ran the piping over and then to a ball valve uh, setup. Um, the main reason I ended up with so much piping was uh, it got really hot and it actually blew a uh, compressed air hose apart one time so I uh, put more steel pipes on there to cool the uh, discharge air down a bit. Anyway, hope that helps out.